CampingNFishing.com presents Brown Bear Hunting. Although brown bear hunting is illegal in some regions, hunters will find paradise in Alaska. Alaska offers a full scope of experiences in hunting, from deer and moose to caribou, from mountain goats to muskox, from waterfowl to ptarmigan, and from wolves to grizzly bears and brown bears. Alaska's diverse geographic areas offer adventure for everyone, including mountains and rolling hills, vast spaces of treeless tundra and valleys covered with forests. The landscape and climate conditions provide a variety of big game. The southeast part of Alaska consists of numerous treed mountainous islands and mainland along the coast, and is well known for bear hunting. The foremost hunting trophies here are on brown and black bears, black-tailed deer and wolves, and mountain goats and moose. Most hunting trips are guided hunting mostly done by boat, and the most well-known spots are on the islands in the central part of the area. Admiralty Island in southeastern Alaska is famously believed to be the brown bear hunting mecca, although there are other islands of GMU-4 that also have exceptional bear populations. Recent years have shown that sports harvests have been divided with 40% coming from Admiralty, 40% from Chichaov, and the rest from Kruzov and Baranov Islands. Brown bear hunting in these areas is very much popular, and has nearly 1,000 registrations permits being issued yearly for GMU-4. Brown bear hunting in the general season is open to unlimited number of hunters and a harvest ticket is needed. These harvest tickets are available at no cost where hunting licenses are sold. Big game tags for the species that is being hunted is required for non-residents. Some of the smaller remote rural areas may not have licenses available, or vendors may run out of harvest tickets, but always be sure to purchase your license, game tags, and harvest tickets before leaving home. Some extra fees for big game tags and about $85 for the basic non-resident hunting license, are some of the costs involved. The day and month that a bear is killed, must be marked on the registration permit before leaving the kill site. Hunters who have obtained registration permits for bear must fill out, and return the permit report even if they have not hunted. For non-residents who are going on brown bear hunting, they must be accompanied by a registered Alaskan guide, or must hunt with close relatives within the second-degree relatives who are Alaskan residents. The best guides for brown bear hunting delivers 80-100% for most big game species, plus they are familiar with their areas and own equipments that an average hunter may not want to purchase for one-time use. Campingandfishing.com Thanks for watching please like, share and subscribe.